I just love that both of them joined. Hello, everyone. We're gonna be talking about my skincare. I feel like I've gotten a lot of questions, so we have a lot to cover. I didn't leave India, but I also am from New York, so just here right now. Good morning, Gooby. Gabs, I feel like you should actually be a part of this live. Um, so as you can see, I've just had a shower. I have nothing on my face. Hey, Ash. I just woke up. Well, no, I didn't just wake up. I've been up for a few hours, but I just uh, had a shower. Um, okay, so I think let's just get started. Gabs, by the way, if you just go to Gabby's story for a workout later, I screenshot that workout. I'm going to do it later today. I am originally a New Yorker, but... Let's just get started. But... <laughs> Stop. Okay, so... Rise and shine. I know it's evening for most of you. But we are just gonna go through a day in my skincare routine. Um, I have been struggling to find the perfect face wash that's not too harsh. I feel like I, although I have combination skin, it's getting drier with age. Um, so I wanted something that was super clean, but not super harsh on my skin. And I've been using IS Clinical for about six to eight months now. I use this morning and evening. Also, I just want to say nothing is an ad. Like I'm not getting paid to sponsor these products in any way. I just, I'm telling you what I genuinely use. Okay, so I start with IS Clinical morning and evening to wash your face. Um, although they say the second step should be a toner, I've taken toner out of my skincare because I really feel like it was doing nothing. Um, I feel like I like to go straight to my serums after washing my face because I have recently learned, fun fact for everyone, that more than your moisturizers, it's, it's your serums that you should be investing in and making sure that you put on your face every day. So I use two serums. One's an IS Clinical Serum, which I don't have with me currently. Um, and then I use a SkinCeuticals Vitamin C 15%. I would say if you've never used uh, the vitamin C on your face, you should start with a smaller percentage because it can sting your skin, uh, make it a bit red, and it does make you more sensitive to sun. So I will be getting to the fact that you need to wear sunscreen. So second step is my vitamin C serum. From there, we move on to a day cream. I swap between these two. So this is Drunk Elephant. I love the packaging. I have to take a second for package appreciation because I love when a whipped cream has this squeeze effect. I think that anything that comes in a jar um, automatically is a little more like open to bacteria if your hands aren't complete, completely clean and you're just dipping it in there. like. I don't know, I have a little weird OCD with that. So I love their packaging and this is one of my favorite creams. Again, all these products are great for sensitive skin. Um, I will give you options at the end. Um, this is MDO. I am obsessed with this moisturizer. So I kind of switched between the two. I've just started using this and his line is absolutely great. I'm actually gonna just get this in here as well. I've started this 21 day serum treatment and it's a three week treatment um, with different types of serums you put on your face for seven days and I've seen amazing results. Um, I think that I get a facial once a month but 
I obviously want my skin to look fresh and moisturized and hydrated on the daily. So I like the fact that he's come out with a line of serums. You can order them in a pack of three on the website. It's called MDO Skin. Um, okay, moving on, moving on. What is next? Okay, this Dior under eye is probably one of my favorites. I just wanna show you again. I like the fact that it has this tool so you can really just go under your eye and get into those bags. I'm not squeezing anything out right now. That was fake, but I can do it for you. So this is how it looks. Under eye, did not know was that important until recently. Um, but I do find it makes a difference, especially because I'm always staring at my screen, literally staring at my screen talking to you right now. Uh, so this has definitely helped with that. I would say that you can use a basic under eye cream, something with vitamin E, if you are looking for something more anti-aging, a retinol, um, but then make sure you top it with vitamin E because retinol can be drying. Okay, lastly, one of my favorite things, sunscreen. Again, we're back to IS Clinical. So SPF 50 is the way to go for me. I feel that I am just a happier person when I put sunscreen on my face. If you had to ask me between everything I've just showed you, what I carry in my bag, if I only could choose one thing, I would choose sunscreen. Um, I know everyone says that, that every, everyone's secret to good skin is literally drinking a lot of water and sunscreen, but like, it's as simple as that. Sunscreen is the way to go. You don't have to use this brand. I know that it can be a little costly. Um, I see some negative comments, but I'm just doing what I can. You don't have to join the live. Um, but yeah, so sunscreen's great. I think that you can use a Bioderma is another good option that you can get from a pharmacy, but I like the IS Clinical. At night, I use the SkinCeuticals Hydrating Cream. Um, it's just really simple, no fragrance, nothing to it, as basic as it gets. You can definitely find alternatives. You can also DM me and I will give you those alternatives that are in different price brackets because I don't want you to think that something is not affordable. I know that some of these creams can be really expensive and you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a good skincare regime. And always take off your makeup. So I use Bioderma and then I follow it with the face wash. That's about it. I'm just gonna take a photo of all these products and put them on my story now. And if you have any questions, you can DM me and let me know. Um, and that's about it. Thank you for joining me.